I'm so dedicated to my destination. I'ma get it how I live it with no hesitation. See me making moves and all this training proof so that I'm possible. I want you to start getting used to having the ball more delicate, smooth in your hands. All right, so we've talked about this a little bit. A lot of times we're taught to over grip the ball. People try to keep the ball off your palm. That's not ball handling, it's, that's a myth. All right, so obviously our fingertips react with it, but a lot of our ball handling is with the palm of our hand, which can never really get to the actual palm, palm of your hand, but this padding here doesn't have to be taught. It's just naturally to your hand. So if I can have it hit this part of my hand with force, that's where my strength is absorbed, right? But if I want the ball to be able to flow, I need this ball to be able to rotate in my hand. So a lot of times when we make the move, the ball is rotating in the hand. Now it buys myself more time so I can manipulate it later. As soon as you squeeze it and stop the movement of this ball, you got to dribble earlier, all right? So we're going to do some spins, all right? So what I want you to do to start with is I'm right here in the middle. I want every dribble to be right at that dot. I'm going to spin the ball. I want you to feel it in your hand, and we're going to go right into a turn pound. So it's kind of like a warm-up into it, but I want you to really let the ball spin. Pound. So we're manipulating it late, and you're really getting comfortable with the movement of the ball. See, that time I squeezed it, it stopped. You see that? So I want to, I want to re relax my hand and tell it. So this isn't an actual dribble yet. I want you to get used to that ball spinning in your hand, and then you manipulate it. Are rotational floats. You're floating the ball while the ball is rotating. Now I do my turn pound and I want it followed right by your partial step. All right, so now you can back up just a little bit, heels on the dots, because I want you to get to about this length each time, shifting the weight to the inside of the foot. A lot of the details that we've reviewed, now we're putting it together with this. All right, so rotate, feel it, ball foot, pause, come back, do it again. So rotate, ball foot. I always want that at perfect timing and that comfort first, all right? Now you feel the difference though? If your foot hits first, how awkward it is for the ball? So on this one, because the, you're basically getting into a drop stance, but because the ball's dribbling, that's why you have to have the perfect timing. Anytime that timing's off, your whole rhythm, your ability to explode is off. All right, so make sure it's always ball, foot, ball, foot in that rhythm. Now, don't make it an inside out, right? This is why we have terms. An inside out is a misdirection across your body. All right, it's like you're doing a push cross. A turn pound just simply means you're pounding the ball with an outside rotation rather than just going straight up and down. So I don't want to see the ball come in, I just want to see rotate out. So we're going to go into this. So if I was doing the same move, I, I spin, I'm feeling comfortable with it. And you can even exaggerate more on the side of it and then see if you can turn down. All right, because we're trying to keep the ball in our hands longer and get used to the rotation. Now I have my turn pound partial step. I want to be able to react out of that. So I'm in my drop stance, meaning I can go, but I don't have to. Right, so now I do an under dribble. I want to go to the switch sides. Now I got to get into my drop. So we'd call that a foot switch. It's transition into your drop. I'm still on those dots, side of my foot, knee to the inside. Now I can explode opposite. So now we're going to drive out. But I want to start out with the turn. Get comfortable with it, take your time and then you have your turn pound under, and then I drop into that speed. Put it all together. Yeah. Not bad, let's see, how, let's see how that ball rotates in your hand. 
pretty solid, right? Yeah. It's not sticking, so because you got to wait. So you're letting the ball rotate. Now you manipulate it to your pocket. So the rotation of the ball is really good. Side's timing is late. You feel how slow it is? Yeah. It's because the dribble is happening so much before the foot that you have to wait for everything. You should be ball foot, ball foot. Now you can already come underneath and now you're pulling to your pocket. 